So a huge Champions League quarterfinal tie this week between Real Madrid and Manchester City ended in a very dramatic 3-3 draw between the two teams, all to play for in the second leg. But today we want to focus in on one of the many stars that were on the pitch, and that is Jude Bellingham. Um, we all know who good Jude Bellingham is. I forget his name out my lips there. Uh, we all know what he's done at Real Madrid. We all know what he's done at Dortmund. We all know what he did at Birmingham City as well. But today we wanted to actually talk about just how much football he's actually played to date. Might be hard to believe, but the England international only turns 21 this summer. And well, this game in particular actually kind of pushed him up on the record table. The player... Uh, himself is now sitting on 15,007 minutes played uh, of football um, and that's football in all competitions and for his country uh, since he started playing in top five divisions so doesn't actually even include his time at Birmingham City but as viewers will now be able to see on their screen that actually now moves Bellingham above Raul uh, in terms of minutes played since he turned 20 since uh, before they turned 21 rather behind uh, Donnarumma, the Italian goalkeeper, behind Cesc Fabregas, and behind fellow England player Wayne Rooney. Um, Ewan, you know, if you look at that list, and there are a few England players on that one there, um, it's probably fair to say that before the end of the season, um, you know, there's obviously, I think there's still another eight La Liga games to go, at least one more Champions League tie. So we're probably looking at uh, Bellingham playing at least another 800 minutes of football, unless he picks up an injury. And you'd hope, you certainly hope that wouldn't be the case. He's almost certainly going to overtake Wayne Rooney as the England player with the most minutes in top five leagues and for country before he turns 21. I mean, what, I guess just what your initial reaction to that, but also, you know, what does that say about just the amount of football Bellingham has played over the last four or five years? Yeah, he's played an incredible amount of football um, already in his community. It's difficult, it's easy to forget that he's only 20 years old. Um, seems to be about forever. He's always had three clubs um, in his career, and he's been so important to, to all those clubs ever since he broke through it. Birmingham, he was 16 years old. I, I do think it's a, I wouldn't say a massive concern, but I do think it's a concern over how much football players play early on in their careers. I think, you know, the example of Michael Owen's a good one, Wayne Rooney as well, you know, they struggle later on in their careers. What I would caveat that with saying is that you know sports science now is maybe better than it was in those days. Um, Bellingham definitely looks after himself. You know, I think Rooney's one of the greatest English players of all time. But if there's one criticism, he wasn't the most professional off the pitch in terms of um, lifestyle at times. So I think Jude Bellingham definitely different from that point of view. But I think ideally you wouldn't want to expose a young player to, to so many minutes early in their career. You see some other clubs. You know, treat their younger players very carefully and kind of gradually introduce them where, you know, Bellingham's kind of been thrust in it as a teenager and not only at club side being the most important player, but also probably the national team as well. And um, there's a lot, a lot of pressure and expectation, but he seems like the character that can certainly deal with the pressure. But yeah, something to keep an eye on because it's a lot of football for such a young player. Yeah, Ben, it, as I said, that's, those stats don't actually even include the two and a half thousand minutes. I think he played for Birmingham City before he moved to Borussia Dortmund. Um, as you and said, you look through that list of players, there's a lot of kind of cautionary tales there. Mike Lowe's probably the most obvious one, Wayne Rooney to an extent. Maybe even argue, maybe Raheem Sterling as well, who certainly not a bad player for Chelsea by any means these days, but obviously not to the same standards that he was at uh, Liverpool and Manchester City. But equally, there's guys like Gareth Barry, James Milner, you know, and I guess Robbie Fuller to an extent as well, who had very long careers. And in the case of Gareth Barry and James Milner, actually seemed to get better as they aged. Obviously, James Milner's still playing and still a very effective player. So maybe it comes down to specific players, comes down to how they carry the workload themselves. But um, I mean, what do you think of Bellingham's career today and, and just the fact that he has so very quickly becomes such an important player so, for so many big clubs. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be particularly worried about it. I think it's a good point you and raised about the sports science in it now. And the two prime examples that we're looking at in terms of players that played a lot of minutes at a young age and then sort of struggled towards the end of their careers in Michael Owen and Wayne Rooney, I do think there's mitigating factors in both. Michael Owen really struggled with injury. It wasn't so much for C, he had some really bad injuries that derailed his career. He lost the pace he had as a teenager and he really wasn't the same player since. And Wayne Rooney, yeah, as, as as you kind of alluded to, off the pitch, there was always a lot going on with him, his lifestyle. Was he maybe as dedicated as others at keeping himself in the best peak condition to be a footballer? Maybe not. When you look at Jude Bellingham, 
It's not normal. Nothing about Jude Bellingham is normal. He, he's 20 years old. He captained Dortmund at 19. He's already played 20, made 29 caps for England. He's on course to be England's all-time top appearance holder. He'll beat Peter Shilton's record if it's not for injuries. Peter Shilton played 125 times. Bellingham has played 29 times at 20. Bellingham could probably beat the record in his 20s if he carries on and doesn't get serious injuries. I think his character, you hear how people talk about him. I think I heard an interview with Antonio Rudiger this week saying he's still baffled that he's 20. He's one of the biggest leaders in that dressing room. And that's a real Madrid dressing room at 20 years old. The bloke, he is a freak. He's, he's a joke. His attitude's crazy. He's an incredible footballer. And yeah, I, I wouldn't be too worried about it. I, I, I get the argument of playing too many minutes, but I think Bellingham is in for an amazing career. And I think you could be looking at a future Ballon d'Or winner there. Yeah, and you could also make the argument that his dad was also a former player as well. Not to the same level that he's obviously playing, but he still knows his way around keeping fit, avoided injuries, you know, precautionary stuff before and after games as well. So you'd think he's got he's had that education from a very young age as well. But just before we wrap up, Ewan, going back to that kind of top 20 list, there's still so many players on that list who are still playing. So a number who are still very young as well. Obviously, all of them now over 21, but, you know, you're looking at under Jude Bellingham, you've got Kylian Mbappe in sixth place. Kamavinga in eighth. Um, obviously, we mentioned Raheem Sterling, but you know Bakayo Saka in seventeenth, and Florian Wirtz is just making it in there at twentieth. Um, who's also the only player alongside Bellingham who still hasn't turned twenty-one yet. It's maybe just a sign of the times that there's so many of these modern players who are still playing who have kind of moved into the top twenty now, um, just because of how much football is actually played these days and. Maybe it's not just a case that Bellingham's an exceptional player, but also the fact that this is just a status quo now, that young players, when they prove they're good enough, just get thrown in, and it's just game after game after game. Yeah, completely. There's so much football these days, and that's only going to increase next season with the, the new Champions League format. If you play for a big club, you're looking at playing you know, between, what, 40, 50, 60 games a season every year, especially if it was important to a team like Jude Bellingham, as in if he's fit, he's going to play. All the time. I, I agree with Ben with his professionalism is, by all accounts is incredible. And um, his character is incredible. I would I wouldn't worry too much about it. I do have still have concerns over you know, how much minutes players do play at a young age. But with Bellingham's definitely an outlier. And I think another thing for Bellingham at the moment is that maybe people are judging him off his form at the start of the season, which was just ridiculous for midfielders. You know, his goal scoring numbers, his assist numbers, that's it's difficult to keep that up over the course of a season. You know, it's they were crazy the numbers he's putting up. It was like Mbappe, Haaland, Ronaldo, Messi numbers um, for what is a, a midfield player. So um, I'd be interested to see what, how Bellingham can progress over his career and what role he plays. You know, will he still play that kind of higher up number 10? Yeah, I still see him as like a number 8 to be honest, a more box-to-box player rather than you know, necessarily a number 10. So it be interesting to see how his career progresses but it's, it's definitely going to be an exciting one. He's, he's going to be one of the best players in the world for the next decade. Yeah, absolutely. Plenty to kind of keep an eye on as the years tumble on. Uh, you guys can also let us know in the comments below what you think of Bellingham's career to date. Do you think he's played too much football? Do you think he's at risk of burnout? Or, as you had alluded to, is this just a simple case of modern football and we all have to get on with it? Let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. And we'll speak to you again soon.